I'd like to take a moment to talk about something I care deeply about, but instead, I'm going to talk about Donald Trump. <laughs> yesterday, yesterday, Trump released a new book that puts his high regard for this country right in the title. It's called Crippled America. <laughs> I know, Crippled America is just a terrible phrase that sounds deeply offensive, kind of like President Trump. <laughs> now, I've opened the book. I've opened the book, uh, mainly so I don't have to look at the cover anymore. And <laughs> it's full of things we've already heard from Trump in his speeches with little extras, like punctuation. But <laughs> I just want you to know, it's worth picking up and then, and then doing this. <laughs> of course, Donald Trump. Donald Trump. That's all. I call that my hump day medicine. Mm. Donald Trump is not the only candidate out there with a book. Jeb just released a brand new ebook entitled Reply All. It's a great way to show you're done making mistakes by naming a book after something people do by accident. And Jeb Bush clearly needs some help because it feels like his campaign is sleepwalking, which, admittedly, is a strategy that's working for Ben Carson. <laughs> so now, so now, Team Bush, huge, big Ben Carson fans here tonight. <laughs> so now Team Bush is shaking things up. Still struggling in the polls, Jeb Bush rolled out a new slogan Monday saying, Jeb can fix it. Yes, Jeb can fix it. <laughs> that is reassuring. Just like when your pilot gets on and says, uh, this is your captain speaking. Just wanted to say that I swear I know how to land a plane, okay? <laughs> but no matter how tough it gets, don't count Jeb out. Because, <laughs> as he explained, he is a fighter. Just talk about your resilience, because people, some people don't think you know how to fight. Oh, man. They don't know me. They don't know me. Could you sign this too, Luke? I eat nails when I wake up, and then I have breakfast. <laughs> yes. Yes. Jeb eats nails when he wakes up. And I believe him. Am I still running for president? And Jeb wasn't done with the tough talk in that it's sort of tough for him to talk. Are people underestimating your ability to fight back and your willingness to fight back? I hope they are. I hope they are. This is like, for me, the, 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 the greater the adversity, the more, first of all, it means I'm going to get better. I got to get better. I know I have to get better. I mean, come on. Um, I have enough humility to know that I got to get better. Really inspires confidence in your candidates. I can imagine his address to Congress. The state of our union is, look, it's, I know it's got to get better. I mean, come on. It, it has to, right? And don't underestimate America, but I hope you do, because I eat nails for breakfast, and God bless you, and may God bless you. You know what? I'll see myself out. Um,